Hi. Hello, Armin. How are you? Uh, fine. Yeah. I try to Okay, can you let can you let our audience know who you are and why why are we talking today? Uh, okay, my name is Arash Shampai and uh, I born in Iran and uh, for three years I live in Greece as a refugee, uh, photographer and activist refugees and. Uh, uh, so uh, when, at the, the first I arrived to law schools and when I was in law schools uh, I tried to be active for open the islands because as you know the, uh, all the islands they are closed for the refugees. Wait uh, no no like back up like the, uh, that's a little, most people don't know what you're talking about. So what do, what are these islands? These are some islands in Greece that are for the refugees. Yeah, you know that uh, the islands, for example, Lesbos. When you as a refugee when you arrive to Lesbos. Mm -hmm. uh, you can, you can, you, you can, you can go to another uh, mainland or another islands. Uh, we can't. So yeah. you're refu yeah, okay, okay. You cannot, yeah. So these are some uh, islands that are specifically for refugees that arrive um, from other countries to, from like Middle East or North Africa, and they arrive at Greece. And just so for for people that don't know, Greece is one of the main. Uh, countries where other refugees go to to begin with and eventually m a lot of them end up going into the rest the other countries in Europe but Greece is one of the main places where they first uh, land on right and you're saying yeah. you, okay and these are some islands but the government of Greece they hold the refugees here in these islands and they cannot leave they cannot go to the mainland okay all right continue yeah and uh, and it, it takes uh, for uh, two three or nine months or sometime for three years as uh, my brother and uh, so they can't leave island that's why uh, in islands in for example in lesbos uh, we had we had a several uh, uh, protests against the uh, against the island against the borders uh, and uh, for for one of the for one of those protests i was leader of the protests and uh, okay so you're saying in these islands the refugees were protesting against uh, the border agents and the and the officials there, right? Yeah. And you were one of the leaders of these uh, protests. Um, yeah. You were protesting like bad conditions and stuff like. Where 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 were you protesting? Uh, we protested in, in in the Mytilini, in the uh, city of the islands, city of the uh, Lesbos Islands, and. Yeah. Uh, all the most of the refugees from the Moria camp, they come outside the camp and they do protest against the uh, against the border and, and and they call open the islands. And uh, so we we had a several we had a several uh, protests in uh, one of the, one, of, one of these protests. Uh, uh, we was in the street. Uh, we didn't come back to Moria. We stay in the street and we do hunger strike. We do uh, protest for uh, for around seventy days. We was in uh, square. Okay. Uh, you you, what were your demands? Open the islands. Open islands? You mean like for people to be able to leave the islands and go to the mainland? Yeah. Okay. Because 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 the refugees they are in in, in island they are like prisoners. Uh, okay. This was as a beautiful uh, islands, uh, but for refugees it is it is like it is like prison because we can't leave island visa permission and this permission takes uh, some time for uh, more than two years. And oh. refugees. Yeah, sorry, they, they can't grow. Sorry if I keep interrupting you because the audio there's I need to make it clear so for people that don't because some there's some audio uh, quality issues that's why I'm repeating. So you're saying that to be able to leave the islands you need a permission that sometimes takes up to 2 years to be able to get the permission to leave the island. Okay, go on. Yeah. yeah. And uh, so in one of the, in one of those the protests police come to us and police do violence against us and we had a film, we had the photos that the uh, the police and the uh, ministry they do uh, they do they do uh, they do violence against the women children and uh, to all of the all of the protesters and uh, now after two years police invite me to court and they say that I I had a violence against police against police and they say that uh, I don't allow them that police arrested me but it was it is it is not correct because because many volunteers and refugees they was there and they uh, they know the uh, they right. they know it is not right so you're saying during the protest you recorded the police there um, being violent towards the protesters and yeah. now but then you were arrested right they tried to arrest me they but the refugees, 
but refugee they call my name and they don't allow police to arrest me. Are the refugees do not? Yeah, the protest, the protest, the refugees, they don't allow police to 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 arrest me as a as, as a leader of the protest. How but did they? Don't... How did they stop the police? We, they they don't do any 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 violence. They just call my name and uh, they uh, they come around the police and they they want they want a police that they don't arrest me without any violence. We had a film and it is very clear that we don't use any violence. And uh, they just call my name, Ara Shampai, free Ara Shampai, and then and then the police uh, finally they don't, they don't, they don't arrest me. So, but they said, are they saying that you? So, are they accusing you of violence? Against the police, yeah, and and was that. and was this all recorded? Yeah. Okay, but they also accuse you of um, resisting arrest. Yeah. Okay, but you're saying you didn't resist arrest. There was other refugees that were protecting you against the police. Yeah. Okay. I, I don't. I don't have this power that when when ten to twenty police wants to come to arrest me, and I don't have this power that uh, uh, I do I do anything against the police. Mm -hmm. uh, I. I was a stay, and I just say to them, uh, we, we we are we as a protester, we are we have a peaceful protest, and uh, uh, I don't, I just don't know why you have to why you have to arrest me. And then and then refuge, they uh, they start to call my name, and they start to call police that they don't arrest me, and uh, that's it. Okay, but we, now uh, now you had a court date for yeah. this. It, has it already passed, or are you waiting for it? Yeah, I had a court in February. Mm -hmm. And uh, the police didn't come to uh, to court, mm -hmm. and then they uh, and then they give me another court in 10 October. And in 10 October, uh, unfortunately, my lawyer also she didn't go to my my court, and it is strange for me. And uh, and then, so the first time the first time the police didn't show up, so they rescheduled to October. And the second time your lawyer didn't show up, so are they rescheduling again? <laughs> The first time it was February. Yeah, so the first, the February one was the rescheduled because the police didn't show up. The second yeah. one was also rescheduled because your lawyer didn't show up, right? Yeah, my my lawyer, my lawyer, she didn't go to 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 the court, but they uh, they give me three months prison. But oh. they, they yeah, they say that uh, uh, they say that I don't have to go to prison until when I do again anything like like that uh, crime. Oh, okay, okay. And, me, and then they give me another time for court for next year November. Okay, next. Oh, really? Next year November? That's a long. Wait, November twenty twenty. Yeah. That's a long time from now. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> and all, uh, wait. So and all this time you are you have to just stay in the refugee camp all uh, all this time. No, I I, I didn't live. I don't live in the camp. I have a house. Uh, I was in the camp when I was in uh, Moria uh, mm. for a year. Uh, but after after I left uh, Lesbos, after they pushed me to leave Lesbos, uh, they sent me to Athens, and uh, now I uh, I have a house. I live in my my own house. Oh, what? Why did they push you to leave the? Oh, because you were causing like protests and stuff like that, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, and you know they do they do uh, in uh, in the Lesbos they do one line for me, and then they say to me. Uh, we will send you to Athens because uh, uh, in, in Lesbos, uh, UNHCR, they give me house because of my uh, sickness, because I had a psycho problem. Uh, and my psycho problem comes from Muria situation after okay. several months to live in Muria. And, uh, and then they say to me, uh, you, you, have to, you, have to, uh, you have to go to Athens, we will send you to Athens in, in the house and we will give right. you one, uh, one house. We don't send you to camp. But when right. they send me to Athens, they didn't give me house. They say to me, you have to go to Malagasy camp. And uh, when I go to Malagasy and I saw the situation, I, I saw I can't live anymore in Malagasy camp. That's why, I, that's why I choose to come to the street and I live in the street, but not in the camp because of my psycho problem. And after a few days, some volunteers and some guys, they helped me to rent a house. So, wait, wait, wait. We, we forgot to do this at the beginning. You're, you're an ex-Muslim atheist. I should have, we should have led with that, by the way, right? You're an ex-Muslim atheist that, and, and you're also a political activist that fled Iran, right? Yeah. And this is yeah. why you're a refugee. Okay, so just we should, have, we should have mentioned that right from the top. We forgot that. We yeah. buried the lead. But, um, okay, so that's that. 
Um, and um, and we're also going to mention a tweet that later that you posted that got into viral and got all over the news uh, and it got the politician into trouble. We're going to mention that as well. But regarding this whole uh, case with your court, like, are you now, um, are you, because I, I, I remember a term mentioning something about you going to, um, about to go, be going to prison again or something like that. Can you cl- clarify, like, are you going to go to prison now or no? Uh, no, the court decided that I, I can be free until next year. Mm-hmm. And if, if in 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 uh, inside in in the in the in the year, if I do again the the crime like the what they what they said to me, and then I have to go to prison. But mm-hmm. if I didn't do, uh, I didn't I don't have to go to prison. But I have another case and I have another court. What's and another I, case? Okay, so you have a second another case. What's the other case? Yeah, it is a. Uh, it is because of my ID card because police took it my ID card last year, and uh, so you know I uh, I have a passport and I have ID card but I can't travel. I have to stay in Athens, and uh, I can't travel uh, because I because for traveling uh, I need ID card and passport together. But my ID card now in police station, so I can't travel to another country, and uh, I have a court because of that, and I think in next month. Uh, I have a court, and uh, we will see if they give my if they give back my ID card uh, mm. or or not. Okay, and t- tell us a bit about the tweet that you post. Uh, what, what's the what's that story and the one that went viral, the one that got on the news, and you you basically managed to get a politician um, lose his seat, right? Like, okay, tell us what happened. Yeah, uh, you know, because of because of some. Uh, some act and because of some tweets and because of some uh, story from the fascist people uh, to me and to refugees and always they say that you have to remove you have to move our country you have to go back to your country we don't have a place for you and blah 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 and uh, and that's why finally I just write one one uh, one tweet and uh, the first uh, it was very clear that I call fascists and I say hey fascists I'm okay in my new country and uh, you don't have to choose, you can choose my uh, moment and uh, I will live in Athens and we will try to remove fascism. Okay, and then, so your tweet was directed to the fascists in uh, Greece and you're saying the fascists that are telling you to go back home, uh, you direct, you told them that uh, it's not up to them and you're going to say, you're going to stay there. Basically, that's the essence of the tweet, right? Yeah. That you're going to stay as much as you want, right? So, yeah. and the, okay. And then, that, and, then, yeah, and, then the, and then and then and then some uh, fascists and some uh, fake account they start to attack my tweet and they come to uh, to my uh, tweet and they write uh, uh, many bullshit. So and I don't care about them because they are just fascists and uh, uh, I don't I don't take them very seriously. But the, the but the, the problem is I saw that one political one political person he come to my tweet and he say he say that uh, uh, he, who's this guy? Talk, what? Who, who, who are we talking about? The politician? Yeah, the who? politician of the new government, uh, the, he come to, uh, he come to my tweet and he called me as a, as a monkey. And he said to me, yeah, they will, they will train me, to, they will, uh, they will, they will, uh, they will uh, send back me to, to my, to my own country. Okay. Uh, so he called you a monkey and he said he will send you back to your country. But who was it? Like, what's his name and what's his position? What was his position? Oh, uh, Theodoros, Theodoros. Okay. His name uh, Theodorus, and uh, uh, he he uh, he he was in uh, I think healthy ministry. Uh, okay. Yeah, and uh, and how do you know he was a fascist? What? How do you know he was a? Fa- you're saying he was a fascist as well? Uh, I think I think he he have to be fascist because when I when I call fascist and he come to answer me, so he oh. uh, he <laughs> right. have to be fascist. No, if he, uh, if he was fascist, he don't have to. He don't have to have the act. Right, and because don't, don't because have to be sad. a lot of pe- because a lot of people got angry with you because they're saying like, look, this Iranian guy is calling uh, gr- uh, Greek people fascists, and you're saying I'm not calling Greek people fascists. If you think I'm calling you a fascist, then you you're saying that you're saying that you must be a fascist if you think this tweet is addressed to you because it started with hey fascists, right? And you're saying yeah. this politician also, if he got triggered by your tweet. Then he, you're saying that he must be thinking that he's a fascist himself because why would he be angry 
if he if you started a tweet with hey fascist right uh okay so he called you a monkey which is which is already like i i mean you know that this is going to go viral if a politician calls an immigrant monkey or something like that right but what happened what was the what, what happened after he did that after 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 his tweet uh, fortunately uh, greek people and uh, greek activists and greek media and also some another uh, uh, activists from another country and uh, also iranian uh, activists they come to support me and they come to uh, protest again against that uh, tweet and in one day uh, uh, the, the the new governments uh, remove him from from the from the part wow and, uh, so he lost yeah. his job within one day after tweeting that yeah, yeah yeah and you know i don't i don't i don't think that the the, the new governments like this act because you know the people push them to do this mm. it is it's not that it is not it is not like i i, I in my mind it is not like that the, the new governments that uh, against uh, this really this idea uh, because you know we uh, already we saw a lot of act, a lot of action from new governments that uh, that that they are against the refugees and uh, so I don't think that the new government they like me or they want to protect me or they want to uh, they want to support me they just do this they just did it, did it because of the because of the people because people uh, push government to remove him uh, from from the part. Okay, okay. You don't think that uh, Greek's government is like you? Do you do you think that uh, some people might say like, listen, it, it's not that they're anti-immigrant. They, it's just that they're overwhelmed with the number of people that they can they can accept all these refugees, right? Just uh, what do you say to that? They're saying like, okay, they like what? Well, how you how you respond to someone's criticism that they say like, look. These islands are necessary. They can't just let everybody in. It's going to be you can't. You it seems like you're expecting with your protests. You're expecting an open border situation, and you think this government is anti anti immigrant just because they want some um, screening process and some management and control about who they let in, uh, and you're being ungrateful even though after they let you in. What what would you say to that? Uh, you know the Greek, uh, the the new uh, the new governments in Greek. Uh, they uh, they in the first day when they come to uh, to government, they they show themselves and they show the idea. And already they say that they will remove exarchia, anarchists, and refugees. Mm. And uh, they show that they are against to us and against the against the against the activists. They was very clear. They mm. sent a very clear message to us and to to the activists. And uh, and already they start to remove all the squads. The squad it, it means that the, the refugees who who don't become any shelter from government or from UNHCR for several months and uh, some some uh, sometimes for for years, uh, they just go to any 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 empty building, and they just leave there without violence or without any dangerous action. And uh, now government government is start to remove all these squads and. Uh, yeah, but, so, but but what would you say to people who say like look listen the Greek people don't owe you anything um and even if they accept refugees it has to be on their terms. What would you say to that? What? I don't I don't I don't hear what no like okay so what if what if somebody says like you um again this is like devil's advocate, okay? Uh what if somebody says like you 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 come off as entitled, you show up in, in Greek uh, and, and Greek islands, and you just expect that people accept you, and you they like okay, even if they have like a system in place to accept people, you don't like it, and they saying you're being if what if you people say that you're being ungrateful, and you're demanding too much from this country, um, and that the Greek people don't owe people from other countries. Uh, their resources, their country, their land, and yes, there is you know they they have given that they have um, there is uh, they have agreed to some uh, accepting uh, refugees like at the UN and stuff. They have, they have signed all those. They're part of the um, part of the agreement that they have to accept refugees, but. There needs to be a process, there needs to be a system, there needs to be some screening process. It's not very easy, and you're demanding too much from a country like Greece. What do you say to that? Yeah, you know, uh, the Greek, uh, as, as we, we know, the Greek already has a, a mini problem of the economy. 
and we know the po the Greek don't have uh, this potential to support all all refugees because the uh, the many refugees, most of the refugees, they come the first uh, country it is it is Greek, and mm -hmm. the Greek don't. The Greek don't have this power, and uh, and unfortunately, in other European Union, they don't support. Uh, they they just support Greek as a money. They just send that send that, send to Greek just money to support refugees. But you know the the, mon the money is not everything, and uh, the Greek don't can the Greek system can manage seventy or eighty thousand refugees. Right. So. And, and that and, and and you know I, I can understand the people I can understand people and I, I have to say to you with all the problem of the economy always Greek people they was very kind with refugees and they support you and they have a good welcome but you know uh, the Greek uh, really don't don't have this potential to support all the refugees and we understand this and we understand this and we don't say that we, we have to push our us to Greek and Greek have to support us we, we just want to say if Greek can't support refugees they have to open the border and they have to allow their allow refugees to go to another country to try they 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 chance in another country but we know also that it is it is not the greek choice and it is not greek uh greek power to open the border because of the, because because it is europe union system and unfortunately europe union they don't allow greek to open the border and a refugee they can go to come to another country to, to try to take their chance and now refugees they uh, they uh, you just imagine what what they refugees they have to do they are they are in greek they don't have a support they don't have a, they are not safe and even they can't go to another country greek don't support refugees enough and don't allow them to go to another country so what we have to do we don't want to push ourselves to greek we we and and even uh, believe me 90 percent of the refugees who is in in greece it was a uh, greek it was not goal for refugees all most oh, they, of them, they, they don't want to stay there they want to go to other countries right yeah okay go on okay but but okay but here's the thing though so what okay so now you're saying now you're not blaming greece you're blaming the european union but why should the european union not uh, allow the all these refugees to come in if they're going to come like it, it can't be a free-for-all like if if they come to these islands and there's no checks and balances and these people just now can go from greece to other countries all of them then it's going to be it's going to be a mess don't you think like wouldn't uh, why would why would uh, the eu uh, why do they why would they have to allow all these refugees in like what would you say to them like like what would be the argument that they have to allow them in you know the, the 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 first the first of all I don't want I don't want to say that they care about us because I know the European Union the first they care about themselves they care about their business and they care about the union so uh, I I guess I I suggested this big, big to European Union because because uh, they have to care about Greek as a as a member of the Europe, European Union because you know the Greek as you told as you say that the Greek can be destroyed with all, with a lot of refugees because now we are for example 80 80,000 people and when Greek can support 80,000 refugees you just imagine after months many people from Syria again they will come to Greece and I don't know from Turkey from Iran from Afghanistan and and refugees refi refugees they don't stop there. every day they come more 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 and you have to imagine after several months what happens to Greek Already now we have a thousand homeless in in Athens. Already we have a thousand baby and pregnant women uh, homeless in Athens. So so they, they they. But why why should they accept them all of them into Greece or Euro European Union? Why should they not? Uh, um, I mean, why should they accept them in any of these countries? Why uh, not all? I mean, maybe. But are these all actually all of these people like for example your case you're a real refugee if you go back to iran right you'll be executed right because you're yeah. ex-muslim yeah. atheist and everything right yeah. uh, and you're also a political activist but do are all of these refugees are they all legit refugees because you know by refugee we don't mean like we have difference. There's a difference between a refugee and, a, and an economical migrant. Is that correct? Right. So, are all these people actual refugees, or a lot of like you said, eighty thousand, right? Yeah. Like, are, are we are we actually to believe that if these people go back to their countries, eighty thousand people will be executed or go to prison? Like, I think that's that doesn't seem likely, does it? 
No, look, uh, for in, in 80,000 people, uh, most of them, they are from Afghanistan or Syria or from Iraq who has a war in their country, okay? So they have to be, so they, they, they have a real case because they, 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 was in their, they was in the war. But for the people, for example, Iranian people who don't have Sorry, a war. Afghan Afghanistan, Iran, and Afghanistan, uh, Syria, and where? Iraq. Ira well, Iraq is not, there's Iraq. no war. There's no and, war in Iraq anymore. And Palestine, and they, they have a war already in their country, and they are not safe in their country. Okay, but Iraq, there's no war in Iraq right now. It is, it is not big war, but it is uh, already, we, they, they have a, a lot of uh, terrorist group, and uh, they, they, are not safe, they, they are not safe in the country. Um, okay, but that's different from your case. Like, we, if you go back to Iran, we know, we yeah, know. You I, I didn't come. I didn't. I didn't come from the the country who has a, who had a war. But I I come from the country uh, where where is the the big dictatorship and uh, you know the Iranian government as a terrorist government. I don't want to call them government because they are really they are uh, the big group of the terrorists who support all terrorists in the Middle East. So my country also, my, my the Iranian people also, they are not safe. And actually, the people who is active and the people who is against this uh, terrorist government, they can be safe. Of course, we don't have a war. We don't have a bomb. We don't have a. Uh, yeah, I know uh, that. I know that. I'm just saying, if you go back to Iran, you have a strong case. Okay, you are an actual refugee. If you yeah. go back to Iran, we know there's a 99% chance that you're going to be executed, okay? Yeah. yeah. Uh, but if pe but a, a lot of these refugees, if they go back to Syria, I mean, yes, the safety there is not as safe as, of, I mean, it's not safe, but there's a very low chance that all of these people will die or even get in prison if they go back to Syria. Yeah, it's not ideal. There's a there is there's war. There's not war everywhere in Syria right now. There's war in some corners in Syria, but most of these people, if they go back to Syria, most of them will not die. And most, I mean, the vast majority of them will not die, and the vast majority of them will not go to prison. Your case is very different. You are extremely likely to go to prison and be executed. They are extremely likely not to go to prison or get executed, right? Shouldn't so? I mean, I, I, to me, it seems like you your case is it, you have been the way that your case has been handled is it's very strange to me that ex-Muslim atheists, especially their cases, are the ones that should be at the front. You know, I think gay people and ex-Muslim atheists, I think they are they. Their cases should be at the front, and I think that a lot of these other cases in the thousands, like eighty thousand, are like that's huge. I think a lot of these might not actually be legit refugee cases. I don't know. Like, correct me if I'm wrong. It's uh, to me, m m it might seem like a lot of these people are economical migrants, and they're using a war to pass on as refugees, even though they're economic migrants, they're just trying to upgrade their lifestyle, right? And I think that they are doing that at an expense to people that actually need help. To, like, because like, if the economical migrants were not trying to disguise as refugees, then a lot more legit refugees would be able to gain safety. Like people that actually have a ninety percent chance, ninety percent plus chance of getting executed. You know what I mean? It would have been so much easier to manage and give a home to people that are actually being hunted down, if there weren't that many people trying to disguise themselves as refugees. And especially when it comes to ex-Muslims, atheists, and people like you, uh, they they are not a threat to the countries that they're going to at all because they are atheists, <laughs> ex-Muslim atheists, right? So. I don't know. What do you think about that? I think, like, if you put yourself in a position of a country like Greece, then wouldn't the islands make sense? Wouldn't it make sense? I mean, as Europe as a whole, like, if the people are coming there, they're like, wouldn't you be like, hold on, maybe we can't, we can't let you all in. We need to hold you in these islands and we need to re review your cases. And you, you might tell them, well, well it's going to take two years. Yeah, because they don't have all the resources. It, there's a lot of people and they don't have the resources to check all of these ca cases very fast, right? So, I mean, the taxpayer of these European countries, why are they being forced to pay for all of this, especially given that 
most of these people are not actual refugees. What do you think? Sorry. You know, uh, uh, all all the Europe country and 145 country they they signed the Geneva Conversation, and the Geneva Conversation say that uh, any any person and any human who is not safe in the country, they are free to choose their new country, and they they are free that to travel to any country where they are safe. And, the, and the, 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 those countries, they have to accept them as a refugee. And they, the, those countries, they, they have to uh, save them. And, uh, you know, I can't, I can't judge the people. I can't judge the people. I don't know all of the refugees who come to Europe as a refugee. And I can't say that uh, most of them, or I don't know, some of them, if they are really not safe, and if they just come to Europe to, I don't know, to, to, to holiday or to travel. So, but... I just uh, I just speak about that those refugees who is really unsafe in their own country and who come to 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 Europe or to Canada or to America uh, as a safe country to be safe. So uh, of course I know I know a lot of for example I, I, a lot of people who is uh, I don't speak about the the, 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 the country who where has a war, but for example Iran. Uh, we, because we have to be honest with ourselves. For example, if, uh, the Iranian people who come to Europe, they are really they are not political uh, political refugees, or they are not ex, ex Muslim, and uh, they can be safe in the country. But the mo uh, most of them, they have a problem of economy in Iran, and because of yeah. the economic problem in Iran, they come to Europe as a refugee. Yeah, yeah. we can say to them, yeah, please, uh, please uh, stay in your country and please uh, stay and work for your country and please just, uh, you know, uh, we, we have to be, of course, I, uh, I want to, I want to, I want to believe open, I, I want to believe no border in, in the world, but, uh, you know, if German, now it is German, because German people, they try to, uh, they try to, they, they try to build this country, you know, and we have to also stay in our own country and we have to also build our country and we have to be strong. Mm. But when, 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 when the situation, uh, when the atmosphere is not safe for me as an Iranian person, I can't build my country. So yeah. that's why I live. But you're but different. People, you're different are, from those people. Yeah, Yeah, you are right in one side that, that people who is safe, uh, they, they they shouldn't come to Europe as a refugee because they saw that the Europe don't give uh, they don't give anything to them and they have to stay for years to become their basic right. So they have to know that Iran Iran can be very better than Europe for them who who is a safe and who just have an economic problem. They can they can done the the economic problem in their own country. Right, you know, but I mean, but, and also, by the way, the Geneva Convention that you mentioned—that's just for, that's for refugees. That's they don't people. I don't know, like I, the the one that you said Greek has is a, a, a sign. Uh, that doesn't mean that they cannot. They have to allow everybody in. That doesn't. That's not what they agree to. Uh, that's only for actual refugees, isn't it? Like the human, uh, the Geneva Convention that everybody signed. Like uh, they have to actually be in real uh, imminent danger. No. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So, oh, yeah. So that goes back to what we're saying, and I and I and I sus and I suspect the, the, the people who is not safe in their own country. Yeah, but safe not as in like oh my risk rate went from like comp okay so if your risk of dying is going from two percent to ten percent. Uh, by staying in Syria, I don't think that that's a legit concern. I think if your your situation, I mean, it is a legit concern, but I just don't. I think these people need to take a back seat for the people that have like ninety percent plus risk of death. You know, for their at least for even if you're not doing for the sake of rebuilding your own country, even if you're not doing for the sake of not bringing. Um, economic, uh, n not asking people that uh, from other countries to use their resources for your sake, um, even if it's not because of all of that, at least do it for the sake of people that are actually uh, in in real danger. Because all of these people that have low risk are are are, are making it very difficult for people with high risk to be able to find a new home. Do you know what I mean? Because the numbers are just so hu huge now. This would, the, yeah. right? You know, so that at least, do, at least for their sake, we have to bring the numbers down. But, but given everything that you said, wouldn't it make sense for? So you're saying Greek has signed that? Okay, fine. 
But they say like, well, we have to. What if I say, the um, okay, fine, but we have to figure out who's an actual refugee, right? And that's why we need to hold these people in these islands. Isn't that isn't that a legit argument? Like we have to see who's an actual refugee, and we need time and resources to be able to investigate this. That's why we can't let people just. As soon as they come onto this island, we can't just let them into Europe because we need to see who's a real refugee. Isn't that a good, legit response by them? No, I don't agree with that. that what they do now, the, you know, uh, of course they have to. They have to have an interview. They have to see who is real, real uh, uh, refugees. Or I don't know anything, but it, it doesn't mean that they have to push all the refugees in uh, one island as a prison for them. So. It is, it well, is it's, not, it's, not, it's not possible of Lesbos Island or in other islands. So uh, you know that the, the, the refugees, as a human, they can travel. It is a the basic. It is a basic right. So they can. They have to. They, they can travel until 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 that they uh, they show that they are not real refugee or they show that they are they are uh, they are they are dangerous for the for the new country. So, but before that, we we can push them as a prisoner as a at, in in any island or in any camp. And uh, you know we 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 must to give all basic right to all humans the first, and the okay. basic right the, the one of the basic right that it is that you have to be free to travel. So you would be okay with okay, so free to travel, but not to any country without any. Ch- no, I the first I say I said in travel in inside the Greek, you know, when I come to Greek country for in uh, one of for example in one of the islands. I have to have a right to travel inside the Greek, not 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 to just live in a one of the islands for two three years. Well, and what they if are they? Are, are you not like okay? So you're they say you say you're a prisoner. Are are you not free to leave the island and like go back to, um, you know I, that sounds racist. Okay, like can they? They're not just letting them go to Greece. Then they're not stopping them from leaving the island and going to other countries. Are they holding them there? I mean, if, are they holding them in the island and they cannot leave the island to anywhere? Like, for example, let's say if somebody is from Syria is in one of these islands, right? What if he says, yeah. you know what, I'm going to go back to Syria. Is he free to do that? The first thing that I don't allow Syria people to go to go back to Syria. I know some some Syria people and uh, they say that we want to we want to deport, but IOM and UNICEF don't accept it. And then oh. they say no. We don't send you. We don't. We don't send back you to Syria because they know that Syria has a war and they don't accept it. It is. It is example of Syria people. And uh, for for example, for Iranian people, yeah, if Iranian people they want to come back, they want to deport themselves to Iran. IOM, uh, IOM, they do they uh, they sing and they they will deport them to Iran. But but not in Syria. For Syria people, it is a special case. And the IOM, even even if Syria people they want to deport, uh, they want to come back to their country. IOM don't allow them, and uh, they have to stay in the Europe. Right. I mean, do you really think it's fair to say that everybody in Syria right now is a is a, is a living under high chances of dying every single day? I don't think that's a fair thing to say. I mean, even when they even when Iran, for example, even in Iran, when the when Saddam was bombing Iran, right? Um, you know that does you know. Statistically, statistically, you're still higher chances of dying in a car accident than being killed by one of these, you know, missiles by Saddam. Even even at the height of the bombings, you know what I mean? Like it's not. Again, your situation is much more high risk. And in Syria, if you look at the where the wars are happening in Syria, most places in Syria there is no war happening right now. There there are specific places in Syria where there is war, right? Most places there is no war. I mean, if you go back to Syria, um, you don't have to go live in the front lines of where the war is happening, right? I don't know. Like, what do you think about that? No, I don't think it is right because you know you don't. Know, for example, okay, now in all all, uh, all the city of in Syria, it, is, it don't have a bomb in the in, you know. But you can be sure if you go to one of the groups, I mean, in, in Rojava, you don't know. Uh, maybe after one 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 hour or two hours, they send any bomb. And after one hour, any any terrorist group uh, start any war. You know, it, it it is it is not safe. The atmosphere is not safe. Of course, now in all the city, in one in the same time, it doesn't have a bomb or it doesn't have a war. But you can't you can't you can't feel Syria country a safe country, and mm. uh, you 
I don't. I okay, don't so, think so, we have. so let me ask you a question. If North Korea, for example, declares war on China, okay, <laughs> does that mean that all of the Chinese population, all of like all of China, is now fair game? They when they leave China and they go to every country. And another country, all these other countries have to just accept them because now China is in war with North Korea. Do you know what I mean? Like it just seems like, I mean, that we have wars and we have wars. They're different. We have. Um, I just, I, I don't know. Like, I, is there a certain standard? I think it should be. It, it can't. The standard cannot be like, oh, your country is at war, therefore everybody in this country is now a high risk situation. I think in. The, it needs to be investigated individually on a case by case basis. Don't you agree? Uh, look, it is it is a different case, but uh, you have to see uh, who made it the war in in the Syria, which mm -hmm. bomb from 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 which countries come to to, to to Syria house. You know that when Europe start to business, when Europe send a bomb or I don't know sell sell bombs to terrorist groups to I don't know to. Uh, to, to, to terrorist governments, so they, they have to support the refugee who, who become who become war from they from they bomb. For example, now most of the bomb and most of the I don't know uh, things uh, is come from Europe, from German, I don't know from NATO. So they have to support the, those refugees because because for example, I as I as a Syria person, I uh, my house broke the, from the bomb who made it by German. So German have to support me. Because because I lose my whole life because I lose my everything uh, for German business. It is it is just example, you know. Yeah, so but this is a case. This is again. This is investigating on a case by case basis. I just I just want think that if your country is at war, by default, every citizen of this country is now a legit refugee. Every single person in that country. Do you, I just think that's too much of a burden to ask from countries, from free countries, where they these are free countries that they themselves are very important in a fight against ideologies um, within these countries that might also, you know, like, for example, people like you, uh, we need to make, if, if the refugee burden was not this high, you would have been accepted, you and a lot more people like you would have been accepted much easier and you are an activist, right? You're an activist against the Islamic Republic of Iran, aren't you not? Yeah. Uh, and pe voices like yours are not openly, uh, ca cannot be, you cannot voice your opinions in Iran. So bring, uh, making room for you in countries, in free countries, it's an act, it's a very effective way of being able to fight theocracies and other oppressive, you know, regimes. Uh, so it's just it's just a win win win. It would be a win for for a person that is under high risk. It's a win for countries that are accepting the legit refugees because first of all, uh, they're low risk because they're actually against you know religious extremism or theocracy, and they have mostly by they mostly abide by enlightenment values so it's easy to accept them and you know and have them part of a society and it's also a th third win because a lot of these people are the reason why they are legit refugees is because they're activists and now you're providing them a, with a base uh, to do their activism against these countries and help um, these countries become a better place and also you're not by not accepting economic migrants like you said, you're making the people that are potentially high, especially a lot of people that are economic migrants, they are high skill individuals, which is accepting them is going to cause a brain drain for the countries that you're accepting them from, which is going to make the progress of the countries that you're accepting them from a lot slower. I mean, it seems pretty straightforward to me that, you know, the screening criteria needs to be a lot tougher. And it would be easy, and it would be faster if you do that. It would be easier, faster, and it would be a lot more efficient. And a lot of people that do need help will find home a lot faster if if you did all of that. I don't know. What do you, What do you think? Sorry, I talked too long. Uh, yeah, it is. Uh, you know, uh, you 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 give me one idea about the Chinese and. Uh, you know, <laughs> 
Uh, so it is strange, for example, if really we, uh, we imagine that uh, in any war in, uh, I don't know, in China, so what will be happening? The people have to just, just, just come to Europe or another safe country and there are a lot of, there are millions of people. Mm. So, you know, or they have to stay and they, or they have to build or, 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 or their own country. Uh, but I as a human and I as a human rights activist and uh, I would like to, uh, that every country and every people, they have a welcome for every people, for every human. And of course, uh, we are human and uh, always we are not correct and always we are not nice. And uh, uh, sometimes, uh, unfortunately, some refugees, they do very strange and they do very, very dangerous actions in, in the Europe country. And, uh, you know, that's why now uh, some of the Europe, Europe people, uh, they, uh, they are not 100 person. They don't have 100 person will come to refugees because they are scared of refugees, unfortunately. Uh, but, you know, uh, the, first, the first thing I, as a refugee, when I come to a new country, I have to have responsibility. I have to show myself to my new country and my, my new society. And I say that, look, if you give me place and uh, I will have responsibility and I, I also do something good and mm -hmm. nice for you as a as a, my new people and as a as a and my new city but unfortunately you know we are human it doesn't matter if we are refugee or we are citizen uh, we are human and uh, and unfortunately uh, we as a refugee also don't have a good responsibility for uh, for our new country and that's why now for example uh, you you have to you have to you have to look for example 10 years ago uh, the Euro people, how they have a welcome to refugees, and now how they have a welcome to refugees, and uh, it is it is a true. We don't we can't hidden, and we can't say no. The Euro people always they are kind, and always they have a welcome. No, it it you know it it is changed from ten years ago, and unfortunately um, now it's get more cold, people to people because of some action, because of some people, because of some strange people, mm. and. Uh, but finally, Armin, uh, finally, I think that all the world and all the people in the world, they have to have a welcome for every people. And uh, of course, and the people also, they have to respond. They have to have responsibility uh, about themselves and about their own country and about their new country. And I, I just say my idea. If I was, if I was safe in my, my own country, in Iran, never I don't try to be... Uh, to travel to another country as a refugee, you know. Mm. I, of course, I will travel to all the country, but not as a refugee. If I was safe uh, in Iran, uh, I didn't. I didn't travel. Just I didn't travel to another country just because of economic problem. Just because of I don't know uh, basic. I don't know uh, mm. basic right. I try to build my country as as I as I try before. You know, in Iran, I, I, they arrest me five times, and the, in the last time. Uh, five times they, they, they take me in the prison, but never I don't try to leave my country because of the prison. But the last time, and then I get tired, and then I saw that it is not just prison, maybe they want to kill me, and maybe they want to terror me, and that's why I, I, I left my country. Yeah, you are true, and sometimes we, uh, we as a Middle East people, we have to think about that. We stay in Middle East, and we build our, uh, our Middle East. As Europe, Europe, Uni, as, as Europe Union uh, people, they, do, they did it. After the big war, they uh, they stay in their own country and they stay in Europe and they build Europe. So we have to do this also. It is a good mm. idea. But for now, what we have to do? For now, that when we saw a lot of refugees, they they come to Europe and they are poor people and they are homeless or they or they was in the war and they don't have a they don't have a chance when they ha when they come back to their country as I don't know, for example, Yemen, Iraq or Syria. Uh, they uh, one hundred percent they don't have a chance to be alive. Maybe they die. And uh, you know, we what we have to do now. Well, I don't, well, I don't agree that we have to deport all the people who come to Europe as a refugee. We have to deport all of them. No, well, not not. And also, and also, I don't agree that refugees who come to Europe they have to just uh, they have to just be lazy to uh, to become uh, free social. And you know, we 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 are all together. We have to be respond. We as a refugee and also Europe Union, uh, you know, we we have to challenge and we have to, uh, for example, refugee they have to do their they, they best to their new country and uh, to their new city, and also Europe Union they have to help us as a refugee mm. to be safe for several years for for the time until we we can be safe in our in our own country, and. Uh,
every yes. day more, 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 more refuge, and the numbers get more. And uh, really, maybe uh, Europe don't have this power to support every refuge. For example, after two, three months, if Iran has a war, and Iran has a 90 million people, so we have to think uh, if all Iranian people they want to come to Europe as a refugee because of the war. Uh, do you think the, do you think Europe can support all of them? No, of course not. No. But uh, so as um, yeah, so <laughs> yeah, that's another point. If if Trump attacks Iran, now all every single Iranian is now has a legit refugee case. Wow. Um, okay, but uh, this is why I think this is this is a very dangerous way of looking at it. I, I all I'm saying is that if you only accept real refugees and make the criteria for what is a refugee very high, then you that might seem in, inhumane because you're rejecting a lot of people. But I think it's actually more humane because you you will be able to you will get a chance. You will have the resources and time and uh, efficiency to be able to focus on the highest risk people, right? So you yeah. might think like, oh, this is inhumane. You're rejecting people. I'm like, yeah, I'm rejecting people, but I'm also more efficiently accepting people at the highest risk, right? That's why I think it's, it's actually more humane to reject economic migrants. It's a humane thing to do to reject economic migrants, not just for the sake of the countries that they're going to, but also for the sake of the countries that they're leaving. Um, but, but let's go back to your case specifically. So what is, what, are, what is next with you? Do you have a lawyer right now? Is your lawyer good? Um, do you need... Do you, no, do you I, need I, I, yeah, right now I don't have a lawyer, and uh, unfortunately I will write more about my lawyer. But I want that everything be very uh, hundred percent clear for me. Why my lawyer she didn't go to my court? Uh, something is strange inside. So, but now I try to find another lawyer, and uh, but you know the lawyer cost is expensive. If I want to find any strong and good lawyer, it's, it costs more than four five thousand euros in Athens uh, for my old case. So uh, now some some guy they suggested the uh, two two lawyer to me and this week I have I have a meeting with the with those with those uh, lawyers and uh, I have to see if they accept the first if they accept my case and and then how much euro I have to pay for them so but right now I don't have a lawyer any lawyer and mm. until next week and then we will see what we have to do. And and how could um, so so that's the most urgent thing for you right now to get an actual lawyer right to, yeah. to get it like yeah. good lawyer and uh... yeah go on sorry and and how can people find like is there any way like do you, if people want to support you or help you or follow your work what can they do right now. You know, the first thing, as I told you, that uh, the, the, the most important for me is a lawyer. And uh, for a lawyer, you know, I as a refugee, and I don't know, I think you know that uh, more than one year half, I don't become any cent from government or from UNHCR as a refugee. And I don't find it a job. And they don't give me a job and they don't support me. And uh, for one year half, uh, I just live with my uh, photography because uh, sometimes I, I sell my photos and uh, I just live with my photos and sometimes like some, some guys, they help me for my rent, for my bread, for my coffee and uh, so for basic things. So the first thing uh, that I need lawyer and I need to pay for lawyer, for my mm. new lawyer. And in uh, this week I have a two meeting with two lawyer and I have to see that uh, one of them before also, uh, he told me that uh, I have to pay for him 4,000 euros. And uh, and it is it is a lot. It is a lot yeah. for me. Yeah, uh, we have to see it. Okay, and, but, but ha if somebody wants to like uh, support you, what can they do? Uh, you know, it is a shame for me that I say what, uh, what they can do for me, but I explain to you what I need now. I need a lawyer right. the first. And, all right. Uh, all right. How can how can people contact you, and how can people reach out to you, or follow you, and contact you? Uh, they they we can we can have a contact in Twitter in my Twitter. What's your my, What's your Twitter handle? Uh, a Hampai. Can you spell that? What? A Hampai. All right. A, yeah. Okay. Spe can you spell that? A H mm -hmm. A M mm -hmm. P 
A Y. Okay, great. That's your Twitter handle. All right, guys. If you guys want to follow him or talk to him uh, or ask him any questions, uh, that's his Twitter account. I'll put a link in the description as well. Um, if you are, if you, what if somebody says like, "Hey, listen, I'm a lawyer in, in Greece, and I would, I might be able to help you pro bono. Uh, would you accept that, like for free, if somebody yeah, wanted uh, to? If, uh, if they are, if they are, uh, if they are good lawyer, if they are small lawyer, and you know, uh, uh, I have to, I have to, I have to trust, you know, yeah. because of my case, and because I have a strange case, and uh, after yeah. this strange action uh, from my, uh, my, uh, my lawyer. What she did for me after one year half, she become uh, money and she didn't go to my court. And uh, so she took so a lot of money from you, and then she didn't even go to your court, right? No, she didn't go. Wow. And so uh, yeah, I don't want to speak now more about my lawyer because I want that everything be clear for me hundred percent. But I will write, I will write about her, and I will ask her in my Twitter uh, okay. why she did like this because she have to be answered. She have to be respond for for action. So yeah, I have to trust. Honestly, even now, if some some guys, uh, some kind guys, they they come and they say we want to, we we can help you as a lawyer. The first I have to trust them. And uh, yeah, of course, I will I will I will thank all of them. If anyone wants can, if anyone wants to help me as a lawyer. All right. Okay. Well, thank you for your time. Um, I hope I hope things start working out for you. And again, thank you for. Um, I know we disagree a little bit, but it's pretty. Um, I'm, I'm open to changing my opinion, and you seem to be very open to changing your opinion as well, which is always good. Um, yeah. All right, all right, guys. Please check in the description if you guys have any advice or if you guys want to help in any way. Please follow his Twitter account, message him, uh, tweet at him. Uh, you know, if you want to just follow his case, please go ahead and, and link in. Or if you if you disagree with him or anything and you want to dis have a discussion with him, do so. Or if you just want to have him on your show, he you have a lot of enemies, by the way, right? Yeah, you the fascists are after you. The far left is after you, right? Is that correct? Yeah. yeah. You have Antifa after you. You have the uh, Islamists after you. You have the Iranian government after you. And now you have the police and the Greek, uh, Greeks uh, justice system after you, so yeah, you don't. <laughs> oh my God, uh, yeah. All right, so no, good luck. No one. Yeah. Unfortunately, no one like me. Yeah. No, I, yeah, we like you. We like you. <laughs> all right, <laughs> all right. Yeah, you, 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 you're always welcome in Atheist Republic. All right. Thank you. All right. Thank you. Yeah. Talk to you later. Atheists are under attack in many places. If they were Christians, their voices would be heard. If they were Jews, their voices would be heard. If they were Muslims, their voices would be heard. But they are atheists, and not many seem to be listening. Let's make it difficult for them to ignore us. We have built a global community, and now we are tearing down geographic, cultural, and language barriers so we can find each other and support each other. In the last decade, we have built the largest atheist community in the world. Now we are doing the same in other languages. With your help, we have started Atheist Republic in Persian and Arabic. انضميت مؤخرا لأسرة Atheist Republic وحيصير عندي بودكاست باللغة العربية. As we grow, we can dedicate more time, staff, and resources to start doing the same in Spanish, Portuguese, Malay, Bengali, Urdu, Hindi, and other languages. We are providing community, support, informative content, and amplifying the voices of those who need protection, especially in countries where people feel isolated simply for their lack of belief. We want to be there for them, and we are only getting started. Help us get there. Check in the description for ways you can support our projects.